I'm Karen Mangicotti. Welcome to In Bed with Penis Mom. If you're wondering about the title, it's because I'm in bed and I'm the penis mom. So today on In Bed with Penis Mom, I want to talk about an open letter to teenage girls written by a blogger known as Mrs. Hall. I only know this is her name because she talks a lot about how it is such an honor to be friends with the Hall boys on social media. And she writes a letter, an open letter to all teenage girls. My teenage girls, your teenage girls, all teenage girls. And it goes something like this. Dear girls, I have some information that might interest you. Last night, as we sometimes do, our family sat around the dining room table looking at the summer social media photos. I love this part. I love it. Woohoo! Go Mama Hall. Show your boys that you care. Show that they're not in isolation in their online community. Great job, Mama Hall. Woo! What else do you have to say? I've noticed you taking a lot of sexy selfies in your cute bedroom. But I think the boys may have noticed something else. For one, it appears that you are not wearing a bra. Whoa, Mama Hall. Whoa. Now first, I have to wonder, how did this conversation go? go at the dinner table. Boys, do you see Nip? Oh, I see Nip. Yes. Oh, yes it is. Oh, that's Nip. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Secondly, are you really saying that the Hall boys can only be friends with girls who wear bras? Oh, Mama Hall, you crazy. I haven't worn a bra in years and I've never been happier. But don't worry, I'm not trying to friend your boys online. Too much scrutiny for me. But perhaps I've misunderstood. You couldn't possibly be a grown woman in 2013 dictating what other people people's daughters should be wearing for undergarments. Mama Hall goes on to criticize the sexy selfies and tell the girls in so many words that they're better than that, that they should focus on their personalities. What were you trying to do? Who were you trying to reach? What were you trying to say? Psst. Mama Hall, they're teenage girls. They're expressing their sexuality. They're trying for attention and validation. Ooh, that was a rhetorical question, wasn't it? I thought you were really looking for an answer, but you just wanted to shame them. And now, big bummer, we're going to have to block your posts. Good idea, Mama Hall. Now your kids never have to see women dressed in anything less than proper, appropriate attire. Unless, you know, they live in America and have eyes. My teenage boy seeing you in only a towel? Did you know that once a male sees you in a state of undress, he cannot quickly unsee it? Ah, uh, Mama Hall? Are you saying that it's the girl's responsibility to keep your boys from perving out? Are you really saying that once a male sees you in a sexual way, he can only ever see you in that sexual way? Are you really saying that one person seeing another person sexually is a bad thing? You don't want our boys to only see you in this sexual way, do you? Huh, I, I guess you are saying that, okay. And so, in our house, there are no second chances with pics like that, ladies. Even once, if you post a sexy selfie, even once, it's curtains. Ew, Mama Hall, you so strict. I am so glad that I have been given second chances for stupid choices I made as a teenager. And maybe, you know, in my in my twenties and like a little a little bit in my thirties and maybe maybe sometimes now. Anywho, Mama Hall declares We are hoping to raise men with a strong moral compass. Men of integrity who don't linger over pictures of scantily clad high school girls. Um, Mama Hall? Here's the thing. Your boys are in high school. It's actually appropriate for them to linger over pictures of high school girls. Men are fighting the daily uphill battle to keep their minds pure and their thoughts praiseworthy. You she-devil heathen woman casting her black magic sexy spell over my pure virgin boys with your sexy duck face selfie. Anyway, Here's my main problem with the letter to teenage girls. Mama Hall, you come here on this day. You come to my house and you want me to tell my girls that they have the burden of keeping your boys pure and innocent? No, ma'am. Spend your time and energy with those princes among men, the Hall boys, in real conversations. Say stuff like, yeah, that is a tight dress she's wearing. By the way, you guys realize that no matter what a girl is wearing, you may not harass or accost her? Do you know that the only way she can ask for it is to actually say, hey, 
Will you have sex with me? No matter what she wears, she is not asking for your harassment, humiliation, accosting. No matter what she's wearing, you're responsible for your own actions. And anything less than gentlemanly is not okay. Or seize this teachable moment. Hmm, she does have a red Solo cup in that picture, but I'm not sure what's in it. She may be intoxicated. Hey, by the way, do you guys know that it's not actually possible for somebody who's intoxicated to give consent? So if you find somebody drunk, you you may help them to safety, but you may not be intimate with them. Not ever. Not okay. Or even this. She does look confident in just that towel, doesn't she? It's okay to see her sexually. Kind of makes sense. But I want you guys to also look. She's also horseback riding, and she made her little sister's birthday cake. She's a whole person. She's somebody's kid, not just a towel. And if you want to get super crazy when their friends are over and they refer to women or girls as sluts, you can say this. Knock it off. Her intimate life doesn't define her any more than yours does you. Don't say that word. All of these things would be time better spent in conversation with your boys rather than writing letters to other people's daughters. Look, you can't keep sexy images away from your teenage boy's eyes, but you can have real conversations with them. Dialogue that tells them sexuality is okay, it's normal, it's healthy. Tell them things to keep them safe physically and emotionally. Teach them that girls and women are real, whole people, not just objects to be cut off at the first sign of an infraction on your narrow view of acceptability. Sitting around shaming these girls is not helping your boys view them as real people. Mommy says you're dirty. Hey, shaming dirty, dirty girls doesn't seem to be doing anything to have boys be treating girls better. Let's try something else. Boys need to know that sexuality is okay. They need information and support. And they need to know that using a girl's sexuality against her as Mama Hall does, is not okay, and it needs to stop.